I was deployed to Iraq in um, September of 04, and I remember the first time that I saw combat. Uh, during, the, during one morning, we were doing combat patrols through the city of Baghdad, and um, everything was quiet, everything was normal, uh, as normal could be in a, in a war zone. Um, but all of a sudden, we just heard this huge explosion, and um, we saw the smoke, we saw um, people running, trying to take cover, and so we go to where the explosion happened, and we get there. We see the house, it's just, in, in, it's just crumbled. It turns out that it was um, terrorists and they were making a car bomb and they ended up blowing their own, their own selves up. Um, turns out that this day was a day that they had planned an attack on the Iraqi people and the Iraqi police. Um, so we go through, we clear the streets, um, get everybody out of the way, make sure there's no one, um, no one hurt that we could take care of. And we continue our patrols after the Iraqi police made it to the house. As we continued our patrol, our normal patrol throughout the day, um, we were driving the streets again, um, and then we hear this, this explode another explosion um, this time it was it was in the middle of the street we look up and we were probably a couple of hundred yards away from from where that explosion actually happened and what it was was um, again terrorists fired an RPG at a um, Iraqi policeman we get there and, and the trailblazer is um, there's a Chevrolet trailblazer just like you'd see here in, um, driving through the streets of Bozier and but this time this this trailblazer was um, it was black and, and the tires were on fire and it was completely um, demolished. But off to the side, um, there was a man that was laying there. It was the Iraqi policeman and his leg was twisted up behind his head and his arms were, um, were folded up and, and he was black, um, just completely burnt. Um, a couple of hundred yards away from that, there was another guy that was on his way um, home from work. He was riding his bicycle and he was dead. Um, when you see something like that, it just changes you. That there's not just this, this small world that we live in, um, in America or in Bossier, uh, wherever we live, that there's people all over, there's, there's things that happen that are out of our, out of our grasp.